everybody, it's me, Alexa, and today we're going to be talking about Kati. Kati is a 2019 Tamil language film directed by Lokesh Kanagaraj in starring Karthi. So this is the second film by Lokesh Kanagaraj that I have seen. I, of course, watched Master that came out earlier this year, and I really did enjoy Master. But I totally get what people meant by I would have been more disappointed in Master if I had seen Lokesh's other films. Because if I had watched this first and expected this level of movie from Master, I think I would have been a bit more disappointed. Now, I still do like Master, even reflecting back on it after seeing uh, this work, which is very different as well. They're very different stories, but it's definitely, I think the story was handled a lot better in this film. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say really comparing the two, is I think that just the story execution was better in this one, and now you can watch my own Master review if you wanna hear my thoughts on that, but this video, we're gonna be talking about Kathy. Per usual, this is a spoiler for your review, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, feel free to keep watching this video because I promise not to spoil anything. So Kathy is about Karthi's character Dilly, who is recently released from prison and is trying to get back to his daughter. The entire movie spans over the course of just one night, which I really enjoyed how they executed that. I think that it flowed very naturally and worked really well with their timing and pacing of it. Never felt bored, never felt too fast, never felt too slow. One moment at the end felt a little slow. Okay, actually, I, I'll give it that. There's one scene which I think had most of the film's budget uh, near the end of it involving a gun. Uh, you think you know which one I'm talking about? If <laughs> you've seen the movie, won't go into more detail in case you haven't. That was just really long, had a lot of slow-mo, and it just kept going. And I definitely, it, that was most of their budget right in that one scene for sure. It was a cool scene, but could have been a little shorter and maybe saved a little bit of that budget. <laughs> but hey, if you're gonna go big, might as well go big. <laughs> One thing really interesting about the film is while it was overall a very like serious drama, um, you know, it never really had any breakaway songs and it was just very, it was very serious. It still had a lot of moss elements in it. Um, like the fight scenes are where that's most prominent. We had a few little classic moss moments, like the person's down, then hears or sees something that makes them get up and then beat up the 10 different bad guys, you know, big ol' like moss fight scenes like that. Super fun to watch, but it was interesting to see that paired with such a serious film, because normally like, you know, moss films, they kind of like play up the over the topness, um, but it was very serious and then just the fight scenes were very um, moss and over the top and fun. I enjoyed it still and that wasn't a negative thing, it was just something I found very interesting about the film. So while the moss fighting isn't a full complaint, I do have a little bit of complaint for some moss elements that were used in the storytelling. Uh, there's a few small moments that just felt a little out of place or convenient for the plot to help it move along. The biggest example I can give without giving spoilers is there's at one point there's a photo of the daughter and she's wearing a specific outfit and that felt very convenient. Like why would she be wearing that? Like it didn't really make sense. I didn't feel like it was very uh, there to help make this moment in the film. And it was a nice moment, still was very emotional, well done, um, but it had that slightly like forced element about it that made it not feel as genuine um, because they chose to add that one small detail, which I get why they did it, but it could have not been there and I think actually been a bit more effective because then it would have felt a bit more natural. And then also with the character's backstory, <laughs> which I said I wasn't talking about Master more, but that was also my issue with Master. That, that um, if the story that they had given was actually another fake story, then I no longer have any problem with that. But if it was supposed to be the true story, then I do have a problem with it. So I don't know which it was, um, <laughs> but that's my opinion on that from Master. But back to Kathy. For Karthi's character, Dilly, he has a backstory. It's told very explicitly. It's the truth. Um, and it doesn't quite make sense for why he's able to beat up all these people. And it especially doesn't make sense because he specifically has a line where he pretty much says, like, to the cop that who he's driving around that oh you know that I was in prison but you don't know why and then he steps out and beats up a bunch of people like a huge group of people and you're like oh wow wonder why he was in jail it must have been a huge thing but it ended up being something it was a big deal and it was like uh, you know the situation that it was was important but it doesn't make sense why then he can beat up so many people at once. So that was just something where I was like, cause he made a point of making that statement of you don't know why I was in jail and that's why I'm able, so it made it seem like, oh, so why he's in jail is why he's able to do this. But then we learned why he wasn't in jail and it doesn't make sense for why he's able to do that. So having that specific dialogue that makes you think that and then having the real backstory not back that up felt a little um, weird. It was like, it like kind of felt like a continuity error almost, you know, but it wasn't, that's like an intense way to say it. It was much more mild than that. Um, but it still just, it felt a little off because you're like, wait, but then why'd you say that earlier? And it was a cool line. He delivered it though, please. Maybe just said it to sound impressive. I don't know, but then he's still able to do it. So it's like, just doesn't quite make sense. And that's, 
kind of falls into what I was talking about again, is just that it's a very serious movie, but then it has these like mass elements to it that sometimes they work fine with it. Like I think the actual fight scenes themselves, I think that that works well with the seriousness, but then they have the mass moments in the story, like with how they reveal the backstory and then like the moment with the picture, etc., and a few other small things that um, don't quite make sense. And that is where the story like falls a little bit. But again, I still really loved this movie and I enjoyed watching the whole thing. Um, but it's just worth mentioning that there were those couple little moments that just didn't quite make sense with the very serious overall storyline of this wonderful one night that we got. And especially with how well done everything else was, it was especially noticeable those smaller little moments. Overall, the acting was really, really great. And I think that everyone did a good job of their character. Some characters I didn't like that I was supposed to not like. However, there's a character who I wasn't supposed to dislike, but I really dislike. How to say this without spoiling. Um, so there's one female character that once something happens, they just become useless after that. And not only useless, but actively like against them being safe, like refusing to go where she needs to go, um, etc. And it's really annoying. <laughs> I was like, okay, shut up and just go there or you're gonna die and get these other people killed as they try to save you. Like, I understand why she was upset. Something happened, I get it. But you gotta stay alive, man. <laughs> like, you gotta keep going. Like, don't don't risk these other people's lives because you're upset. It was very, that was very frustrating to me. In order to warrant my frustration, I was like, okay, I try to put myself in her situation. Like, how would I react? You know, picturing as best as I could. I've no, hopefully we'll never be in that situation. <laughs> but I was like, okay, what would I do? And I was like, yeah, no, I'd start fighting. <laughs> I'm like, absolutely, I would not act like that. So now I can feel like my strong dislike of her character and judgment of her uh, is warranted because I wouldn't do that. <laughs> the actress still, though, did a really great job at it. Um, all the acting was phenomenal, all friends. I just didn't like the character choices made. Uh, for her. So, yeah. The music was really good in the background. Uh, they never had any, like, full breakaway songs or anything, because this wasn't a Moss film. It was a serious film with Moss elements in it, which I think is why it was able to do so well. I think a mixture of having that Moss and then also a serious story worked really in the movie's favor for having it be so successful. And it is getting a sequel. There's no date yet for the sequel, but it was confirmed in 2019, October, that there will be a sequel with Lakesh and Karthi returning. So I do look forward to watching that. I think that'll be really cool. And so I understand why they did do the more mass elements to help with that commercial side of it. And also most of them worked, like the fight elements worked really well. It was just those story moments that were a little bit weaker. The cinematography was cool. They had a few really awesome shots, like a few moving ones, like really creative. The execution wasn't always precisely perfect on all of them, but they had some really great concepts of shots and it was really creative and I loved uh, how they did it. And it was still executed well, um, but just, you know, <laughs> nitpicky again. Could have been slightly like, oh, they moved it slightly over, you know, being nitpicky. But like there are some really cool like traveling shots and moving shots between things that were very effective still and were executed well um, and had a really great, the creatively, the concept of it was really great. I enjoyed that a lot and I love the trying different things in this serious slash moss film uh, to have these creative shots was really enjoyable. But at the end of the day, this movie made me very teary eyed at times and it felt like they didn't do enough to build up those emotions but every time it got to those emotional scenes I felt it um so it was really good subtle story with that like to build up to those moments as well as great acting from Carthy and other actors and some really good background music I think helped lend to some of those emotional scenes as well um, and so it worked out well. Like by the end of it, I was I was pretty dang emotional by one of the final scenes and such, uh, and a few scenes throughout. So uh, really well done on that front, and I enjoyed watching the entire thing. I know I made a few nitpicks and I said a few negative things, but I really really loved this movie, and that is why it's still going to be in the Tiger Shark rating. I definitely would recommend it. It's a really good serious drama while also having those more fun moss elements uh, for like cheer moments and other things like that. So. I appreciated the mixture of the two different styles of filmmaking. I think that overall it was really well done, minus my little nitpicks that I said and a few little issues that I had. Um, but yeah, I think it was overall a really well executed movie. And I look forward to watching some of Lokesh's other films because y'all said that he has some other ones that are really great as well. So. 
definitely want to take a look, um, but I am happy that I watched Master before watching this one. <laughs> Alrighty, though, that's all I have to say about Kathy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave all of your thoughts on the movie down below in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe on your way. Alright, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!